It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. Yesterday I made a video about the Ten Commandments in the state of Alabama, and some of you guys had some really interesting comments, so in this video I'm gonna respond to the comments that I find the most interesting. Poor baby! Are you familiar with the basis of American law? Are you familiar with the basis of that law? Separation of church and state, as you understand it, is based upon historical and legal frauds. Uh, let's go to the uh, Constitution, shall we? Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion. So, what is the meaning behind it? It basically means that Congress had to be completely neutral when it comes down to religion. In other words, they should not have any sort of favoritism, according to the First Amendment. Also, let's take a look at what Thomas Jefferson had to say about this issue. Here's a letter to the Denbury Baptist Association. I contemplate with sovereign reverence that the act of the whole American people which declared that their legislature should make no law respecting the establishment of religion or prohibiting the free expression thereof, thus building a wall of separation between church and state. These documents are not fake, they're completely real. You can literally use Google to see them. I'll make this real simple. The majority of the people in Alabama love God. We believe his laws are supreme over anything written by man. There's actually a Bible quotation for people like you who believe that religion should supersede the governments. Render therefore unto Caesars the things which are Caesars, and unto God the things that are God's. Basically in the Bible verse, they were wondering whether or not they should pay taxes or not pay taxes. And since the people were living underneath the Romans, it meant that they're obligated to pay the taxes. So basically it means that people had an obligation to follow society while attending to God as well. Western civilization wouldn't exist without the Ten Commandments, idiots. That is not true. That is not true at all. Western civilization that we know today comes directly from Greece. For example, the scientific method and the idea of democracy. Also, the Christian holidays that we have are not really Christian, they're actually pagan. Yes guys, Christmas, Halloween, Easter, they're all freaking pagan guys. Basically, Western culture predates Christianity. Finally, this is the last comment I'm gonna respond to. America is a Christian country. Christian values and principles are inherently conservative, thus a push for normality in society. In terms of population, the majority of people in America are Christian. I think at least 70% of people, according to the data. However, as far as the government is concerned, we are a secular nation. For example, according to our constitution, it is not mandatory for people to swear on the Bible. The Pledge of Allegiance prior to 1950 did not have one nation under God underneath it. Also, like I said earlier, our constitution does not have a state religion. Anyway, that's my response to the comments that I saw on my page. I don't think this idea of separation of church and state is an atheist issue, but a people issue. I personally believe that most people should believe this idea, no matter what kind of religious background. However, that's my personal thoughts and opinion about this matter. And until next time, take care.